Hey guys and girls, what's up? Uh, bringing in Tyler, our first video ever. Me and Tyler are in the same video together. And uh, the reason I'm bringing Tyler in is we want to talk about black belts, earning black belts, what it is to be a black belt, uh, people quitting before they get a black belt. So um, let's, let's start out with one word. What's it take to get a black belt? One word. One word. One word. How about two? Two Hard word. work. Hard work. Hard work. Um, I'd say perseverance. You know, perseverance, hard work, and I think that's probably a big reason most people quit long before black belt. Yeah. Well, the easiest thing to do in jiu-jitsu, we always say, is to stop doing it. You know? It's, you know? Super easy to quit. Yeah. You super know? easy to quit. What point, uh, what point do you think most people quit? Uh... I think probably mid blue belt, you know, sometimes they don't see the path and they don't think that it's possible to get to that black belt, so it's kind of like, why even try? Right. You know? Yeah. What point, like for, yeah, I think I see that, a big drop off from white to blue, uh, mid blue belt, there's that big, big drop off. Mm -hmm. um, at what point do you think somebody says, I'm going to earn a blue belt? Because obviously coming in the door, they don't know what they want yet. So what, what do you think like the first, the first time somebody goes, man, I want to be a blue belt? I think, well, with the blue belt, I think the next level, they start seeing the next level, maybe the first strike. Yeah. I think they, they get that first strike and then they, they see that they could build some momentum and possibly get to that next level, yeah. you know? Yeah, around that three month mark, they say, I can be a blue belt yeah, one day. Blue, yeah, I can be a blue belt. And I think that in itself is probably a big reason to fall off because they set that goal and that to them is the end of the road. They yeah. say the blue belt's the end of the road. You know, the blue belt's the new black belt all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah. You know, and they, they go, oh, I got my blue belt now. And they realize what that struggle, we talk about all the time. They say how, how much you struggle to get to that blue belt. Yeah. Because you're working hard, you're, you're doing things you've never done. Now you get that blue belt and you go, man, what's it going to take to be a perfect belt? And then that they don't want to put the hard work in, like yeah. you said. And especially when they become new blue belts, and then now they're being challenged by white belts who want to be that blue belt, and now the purple belts say, hey, you know, welcome to the club, you got a little color on your belt, now we're going to put it on. Yeah. And then, you know, some guys, either they, they respond to it, and they, it, it inspires them to want to be better, not be a black belt, not be beat this guy, this guy, but be better for themselves, you know, and that's the most important part in jiu-jitsu is being the best that you can be. If, if you go through your whole jiu-jitsu career and when it's all said and done, you are just a purple belt or whatever, but it's good that you are that, you know. Right. Some guys would rather either take a shortcut to a black belt that they might not earn or whatever the case is, or they, they feel like it's just not attainable for them. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that... that Ego versus expectation Absolutely. kind of argument, Absolutely. you know, where I expect, my ego is so big I expect to just be given a black belt. Yeah. Or, or, or you know, even more so, like my, my ego is so big, um, I expect I should be able to beat everybody in the gym, and when I can't, I quit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, when you, when you get a 125-pound, you know, purple belt who wraps his legs around your head and squeezes you, and you're a big muscle head, yeah. you know, a lot of times they just, they're like... Fuck it, I quit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that. Yeah, we've they, seen that. Yeah, some guys they just can't take it. You know, they can't take. But it, it, we always talk about jujitsu is the great equalizer because it's reality. Because you know, it's not about the cars, the clothes, the muscles. It's about the time, the dedication to your craft. And if you're 125 pounds or 225 pounds, the work you put in is always going to be what is shown on the mat. There's mm -hmm. no there's no shortcuts in jiu-jitsu, and there shouldn't be, even though in certain regards I feel people are kind of want to, the, the Americanization of it, where they want to kind of, you know, everyone gets a medal type deal, so, so belts are kind of passed out a little quicker now, perhaps, just to keep people interested and all that stuff, but, you know, uh, the hard work and the dedication from within is really what will take you to the next level of your training, whatever that is, black belt, someday, you know, hopefully. You know, and we always say that, you know, it's not who's the best, it's who's left. Right. You, if you don't stop training, you can't help but achieve the highest of levels because you're working on your craft forever. You know? So we got, you got to, the, the passion for it, 
yeah. had the passion for it. Um, you know, I, I know you and I have, I had the passion for it the first day I came in. I was hooked right off the start with Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I know you, you know, same thing. We've, we've sacrificed for ourselves. We've sacrificed jobs, yeah. you know, family time, relationship. We've yeah. sacrificed everything because of the passion that we have for Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. And I think if you don't have that passion, or more so you can't maintain that passion. Because I think people get that passion yeah. after their first class. Yeah, I think everybody does. The bug. Yeah, I wanna, you know, I'm gonna do this, but, yeah. but maintaining that passion over the long haul is, is totally, totally different. Yeah. You know, where you get those days where you're just like, fuck it, I quit. Yeah. And it's, you know, either you quit or you, or you overcome that. Yeah. And then you get back on the mat. Well, that's the difference between like uh, being motivated and just being like infatuated right. with it. You know, and some guys just get enthusiastic about jujitsu for a while, mm -hmm. but the enthusiasm fades. But if you have the passion and the motivation to work your craft and to, to put the time in and take the beatings, you know? And some guys, that's where the, the, the disconnect is, is where, you know, the beatings, you're like getting tapped, you're getting passed, and, and instead of saying, I gotta get better, you look for excuses of he's not teaching me what I need to know, right. or this guy is this, or that guy's that, and you know, and that's just not how it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, it's always about you. In jujitsu, when things aren't going the way they're supposed to, before you point the finger at anybody else, you have to look at yourself. Definitely, you know, definitely. And that's you know that goes back even to the to the ego. You know, we 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 refer to the ego as, as kind of like a negative thing that that forces people to quit. But the ego can be an extremely positive Good thing, thing yes. that, that forces you or propels you to keep that passion to, to, to reach that black belt. Yeah. You know, for me, my ego was no matter what gets in my way, I'm going to get there. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get around it, get through it, get under it, get over it, get whatever I had to do. You know, my ego kept continually driving me to, to get better and improve and, and earn that belt. And I think, you know, we always say, leave your ego at the door, leave your ego at the door. It's, it's, everybody says that. Every jujitsu school on the planet says that but I think a lot of times you gotta you got you have to maintain some semblance of an ego. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah. You Literally. have to you have to take it not personal when things go bad on the jiu jitsu map, but you have to, you know, take it as a little bit of fire like, okay, this is something I need to work on. Right. And and you have to let it motivate you and your ego has to motivate you rather than, you know, discourage you mm -hmm. or let the end fight you too. I, we've you know we've seen we've been through a lot of sure, different yeah. people yeah. and personalities, and you know some guys would rather point the finger at him, 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 and him, right. you know, rather than saying what am I doing, you right. know, you know, and their ego won't allow them to to look in the mirror and point it to themselves. Right. So it's everything else. But we always say you know if you're doing putting in the mat time, that's great, you know, and, you, and you're, you're you're plateauing. What's your diet like? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you improve that? Sure. Can you improve your strength conditioning? Okay, well then maybe that's a little something. Right. And the recipe, there's no one recipe, but it's all about putting in the little things and the little sacrifices. And also, when you get in your car and drive, as soon as you hit the road, are you thinking about, you know, calling your girlfriend, ordering food, blah, 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 this, that? Are you still thinking about jujitsu? When you go home and shower, are you still thinking about jujitsu? When you're laying in bed at night, do you hip escape when you switch sides and you know, and that's the thing too, where some guys, if you don't put in the homework, you know, the guys who do are gonna improve. It's right. just, you know, and that's where we say hard work beats, you know, talent, you know, any day. Yeah, definitely. You know, you get, uh, like you said, what are you, we, what are you thinking about when you get home? We, we all got distractions off. Well, yeah. maybe you and I don't have distractions, maybe because it's all about jujitsu. But you know, we get that other people have distractions, no, yeah. right? You family. got family. If I got family, you got job, you got. You know, but we always go back to it. There's always time for jujitsu if you want it, if you have the passion for it, if you have the the, 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 the ego to want it, you know, the passion to want it. You're gonna find time to do it. So what excuses are you gonna make for yourself? What excuses are you gonna accept for yourself? And that's the that's the thing, you gotta get around those excuses. You know, we we know guys that are in their forties that have families, that have farms, that drive over an hour. And they still make it four times a week because twice a day, twice a day, some days, you know, because they have that passion, that drive, you know. And then you get you get other guys. It's you know, oh, it's my girlfriend's, it's my girl's birthday, it's yeah. this. I want to go for a walk around, whatever it is. Like, yeah. it, there's an excuse that's going to that, that's going to hold them back from it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and that's that speaks back to the passion. That speaks back to the the ego and, and, and the dedication to to what it takes to, to one day be that that black belt. 
You know, and that's probably another big drop off. You know, we, we mentioned the drop off from white to blue, but there's probably another big drop off after purple as well. I would, yeah. You know, not obviously not as significant yeah. in numbers. Yes. In numbers, yes. because there's yes. more white belts yeah. that come through the door. There's less purple belts. Yes. But the percentage wise may be pretty close because again, people at that purple belt, that's where you're committing. That's where, that's where yeah. you're really committing and saying yeah. like, am I going to become a black I belt yes. or is this? Right. Okay, now I want to go and pursue other things. Right. Or maybe they don't even quit. Maybe they just start slow, to slow, slow down yeah. and they lose that. Yeah. Right. You know. Because that's because it is. It's. It, I think from blue, mid blue to purple is such a long time, and then they see the purple to the brown, and they're like, I don't know. That was such hard work getting the purple. Right. Now, you know, now what? Right. I gotta do what? I gotta die a little more. I gotta work a little harder, I gotta come in early and leave later, I gotta not go out to eat dinner every night, I gotta tell my girlfriend I got I'm be busy tonight training an extra session. Yeah. And that's tough. And that's tough for people and, and we understand, you know, if you have other obligations, you know, we have we've had guys who are doctors and lawyers and all types of important jobs. And that's great, you know, if you go away and, you know, you go become a doctor, then, you know, you got your black belt and doctor. And that's and that's good for you, and I'm happy for you, you know. But when you come back to the mat, like we said, it's a great equalizer. And some guys, that's what happens. They kind of take the oh, I got a purple belt, I'm gonna take a break and do some other things, maybe get some cool toys, whatever, whatever. They come back, and that blue belt they used to smash on is four stripes now, and he sees you as food. Right. And now it's like, yo, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna go back to my office job. I'll be here. I might I might see you guys. I'll pop in on an open mat. You know, you can't fake it on the mat. You can't, can't fake it. No, it comes down to it. You cannot fake it. And jujitsu is a perishable skill. It is, and that's a thing where people uh, the disconnect is too. I mean, it's if it was if you got so good and you stayed that good forever, I mean, we would stop training now, right? We're black belts. Done. Black belts done. Time it up. See you guys. Time it up. Yeah, time to go. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, even even we, I, I said it. Uh, I just got my black belt, you know, and I, I said it was like being a four strike brown belt, you're at the top of the, the brown belts. Now I get my black belt and now I'm like a white belt. To me, I'm a white belt all over again. Right. Because now, you know, I compete and I'm around black belts and these guys could be black belts for 20 years, mm -hmm. you know. It's intimidating. It's, yeah. it, 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 it's like, but that's what drives me because I want to be where they're at. I want, or where as close to that as possible. And that's my thing is where I want to be as good as I can be. And if it is just a, a, a black belt, if it's just that, that I'm fine with that. But I want to be no in my heart, and when I look in the mirror, that I can I can hold this. Yeah, you know. Yeah. When you lay your head on the pillow at night, there's no question in your brain. Yeah. You know, when I when I open up the academy in the morning, there's no there's no worry that somebody's going to walk in the door and challenge me and be able to take it away from no. me. You know, I, I again, we can't fake it on the yeah. mat. Um, and the fear of that might happening someday motivates you right You're like I don't want to be that guy who gets gets my card pulled so to speak yeah. you know yeah like we yeah, saw that, that UFC gym video right where yeah the, the guys like black yeah, fake yeah. black on the UFC video you, you know? don't want that because no. you want to this is this, that's why jiu-jitsu is different than anything else because you have to it's not what you know and there's a lot of guys who you know oh I know that technique oh that's his guard oh that's the X guard oh that I got that DVD yeah. but it's not what beta max yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I got the Gracie films from 1932, Gracie in action. No, that's great. But here's the thing. It's not what you know. It's what can you apply. You apply and if you can't apply it, then who cares? You can tell me how I should have choked you better right. all you want, but you were choked. So sure. good for you, my man. You yep. know? And that's the thing, too, where people, you know, that, that, that time and effort and that's and, and the passion for yourself and to give back to others as well. You know? Um, what else? Causes people to quit politics, right? Politics, politics yeah. That causes people, a lot of people to quit. Yeah. Um, he don't like me. Yeah. And he doesn't like me. Yeah. She doesn't like me. Whatever. They're friends, so they got that yeah, belt. Yeah. You know, um, mm -hmm. jumping between school, network and schools, schools and masters yeah. and affiliates yeah. just to get that next that next round. I think that turns people off a lot too. You know, yeah. the the politicking of it. Yep. Yeah. Um, and and again, we just come down to you. Just got to say, what can I do to overcome that? Yeah. You know. It's, Again, you got to accept responsibility ultimately for that. If you're putting yourself in, in some type of abusive, you know, relationship, then then you got to remove yourself from that. Yeah, you have you to know, find a better place yes. that has better yeah. politics. You know? Yes. Yes. Um, injury. That's probably a big one too. That 
that is, yep. you know, that mm-hmm. causes. Yeah. Um, but that, again, now, you know, what do we talk about with injury? It's, it's overcoming that injury. Yeah. I've had, you've had injuries, I've had real bad injuries. Yeah. You know, that, that spinal injury, you know, back injuries, spinal injuries, knee injuries, shoulder injuries, broken bones, stitches, all, all of that, you yeah. know. And at any point, it, you know, you say, well, you know, I'm going to quit. Yeah. You know, at what point does an injury uh, allow you to quit? At what point do you think it allows you to quit? Well, you have to look at it like this. You get you get hurt in a car accident, do you never drive again? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you have to try to get to where you got to go, right. then, you know, you, you have to overcome that fear or whatever the stigma is with that. And the thing is, uh, with, with training, is you can't let that dictate and define your experience. And it's like life. Jiu-Jitsu is life. You know, you have to overcome the obstacles. Right. And that's why Jiu-Jitsu changes lives and helps people to become better people because there's so much that you have to take on yourself. And overcoming obstacles is the biggest hurdle in, in Jiu-Jitsu. And we talk, all these things we're talking about are the obstacles. Yeah, but an injury is not is just one of those obstacles. You can't let that define your experience. You know, you can't say, ah, yeah, I got hurt and I don't want to do it anymore. Right. It's like life, you know, you, you get fired from a job, you're never going to work again. You got to yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I think with injuries, you, you got to respect them. You know, you can't be that hard-ass guy that just says, well, you know, I, I, I got a real bad, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, my neck is killing me. I'm getting tingling in my fingers. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep going harder. Yeah. Well, now you're going to wind up in a wheelchair. Yes. No, you know, you do have to take the step back and say, okay, I got to rehab this injury correctly. But that doesn't mean I got to quit jujitsu. There's no. so many things that we can do when we have any type of injury. You know, if I if I if I have a a, a cast on my arm, that's not going to prevent me from from uh, you know maybe working a little bit of, of hip escaping and whatnot. You know, yeah. if I have a back injury that's preventing me from hip escaping, it's you know it certainly doesn't mean that I can't uh, you know work on on cross body a little bit and, and work on my top position and pressure. So, yeah. you know, the, the injury can't be an excuse. It's just got to be another another obstacle for us to overcome and persevere yeah. through towards that that goal of, of, of black belt. And you know, kind of in closing is is, is black belt the goal? Is that the is the ultimate no the ultimate goal of Jiu Jitsu? No. No, I gotta agree, right? No, you gotta keep you, you just keep going. You keep going. Just keep it in your life and keep working on it. And if it's a black belt, if it's a brown belt, if it's a purple belt that you get, you know, if it's you know, a red belt someday, right? But that's not even as a red belt, you don't stop much learning and doing jujitsu, you know, so it's forever changing and forever evolving, and that's why people love it, and that's why it is what it is now, you know, people are hooked, and it's crazy, people, it changes people's lives, that's the number one thing, like mm-hmm. I said, for sure. Yeah. So closing thoughts? Um, don't quit. Don't quit. Man. Don't quit. Don't quit. You just don't quit. It's life, jujitsu's life. If, if if it's something you want and something that you really feel that it helps you and improves your life and you know the happiness of your life and I always say it's great for older guys adults to, to have ju- something like Jiu Jitsu because you know you get to a certain age and you stop playing and you stop having fun and you stop like you know hanging out with the boys and, and that's a thing where you know you, you become a family here and, and everybody who trains for a consistent time over a long period of time will say the same thing that you know these guys aren't my friends this is my second family right and that's how I feel and so that's why we say don't quit too because we miss you and yeah. I'll come back yeah. but you know um, it is it's a, it's a really close bond and it can improve your life and it keeps you young and it keeps you happy and, and it takes pressure off the it turns the volume down the rest of your life you know when you get a guy in here choking you grinding your face into dust you know big guys flexible guys all these problems and equations that you have to solve with your body these chess matches one after another after another different styles mentalities and you know personalities you know and then you know you go home and then you know oh you know the the, the baby needs some food okay i run to the store okay it's not that bad you know uh, yeah, yeah, nothing that happens outside of the fort. Well, I don't want to say nothing, but almost nothing yes. is as bad as yeah. getting your head humped up and down the mat by a 270-pound brown yeah. belt. Getting stuck in traffic after you leave. Yeah. Ah, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. Most nothing. people, 
You know, they're ready to rip their steering wheel off. The, but you see jiu-jitsu guys a lot more relaxed, a lot more cool usually because of, you know, it, it does. It, it, it turns down the volume on the little problems, you know. Yep. That's it. All right, guys, persevere, work hard. Thanks. Yeah.